Well, you've been watching it on our side-by-side -side coverage and Rafael Lassard in the four truck and Grant Infinger, last week's winner at Daytona, getting together and you see the crew saying the 98 is done. Yeah, and the four didn't look too good either, did it, Aaron? No, uh, I'm sure, well, you can see there, Grant's leaking a lot of water or oil there. The, the four, I'd be surprised if they didn't have any suspension damage. That spindle or that, that upper A arm is definitely stressed, I can tell you that. Here's what happened with the four and the 98. Man, Lassard battled it a long time, but just eventually got into the side of Grant Enfinger and both trucks hit the outside wall. And you know, that's that's a learning moment for Raphael. He's not gonna forget that. And, and you know, Grant's not holding him tight. Or it looks like he got on the apron a little bit and, and just kind of started to chase it. And it's kind of it. It's a little bit hard to catch it once you get up against that guy and start losing more and more air. I think you're right. I think he got down on that apron just a little bit, and that just unsettled the truck just enough that then he got right there next to the 98 of Infinger, and it takes both of them you know, to the wall. We've seen a lot of guys, Vince, get loose down on the bottom and been able to avoid contact. Not that time. And I think he learned two lessons there. You know, he obviously got loose and, and, and ended both of their days, and he had an opportunity there to probably just spin the truck out, come in, get four tires, and, and give it another go. But... Well, a week ago, his night ended in victory lane at Daytona. Tonight, Grant Infinger heads to the garage early.